live now. <laughs> We're live? Okay. Cool. I finally got it to go. I don't know why it's being a bitch, but it's go it's there now. Beautiful. Well, awesome. Uh, I am going to my because my ego will not uh, let me show my face right now. I can't read what's written. I think we're all uh, safe for work. <laughs> Who cares about safe for work? I can't read it. I can't. No one's trying to. I have no chance. Anything. I'm on my phone, so. I'm. I'm sad. I can't read it. God, I hope everybody can be heard on this thing. <laughs> I am like worse than an amateur at this. I can like pull it up on my phone, see if I can like hear yeah, it and stuff. You should do that because I'm trying to do it on my phone and it's being a brat. See if you can get it to do it. So, are we watching it directly through Devin's Twitch or are we watching it? We're going to watch it on Discord. Through... Yep. Okay. I can like pull it up on my phone, see if I can like hear it and stuff. Whoa. That delay yep. though. <laughs> oh no, am I about to hear myself? Oh boy. Yeah, there's five people in this watch together room, right? Uh, we're not, we're gonna not going to be doing it through the watch together. Yeah. Easier to stream. Heard. Thank you. <laughs> now, here's another question Can you hear the fans of my computer going? Because that was the no. issue last not time. Not this time, no. Well,. I'm no, we, that... we're missing the the nice white noise. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping. There's some like noise have... suppression stuff on Discord. Mm, yeah, I'm not very good at. Yeah, it. you can adjust your sensitivity or whatever. If I mess with stuff, it's gonna show in the stream though, because it's like. Mm. Yeah. So I don't know. Let me know if it gets noisy, but I think I think we should be okay. <laughs> okay. All right, so let's see here. Uh, do you want me to share my screen now, or? Ready right when you are. We can just hang okay. out for a couple minutes if you want. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I was thinking we could probably go over like the inception of this project, like how it yeah. began, um, and just sort of how Lizard, we all came to be on the same thing. Lizard. Um. So, we we shot this from. July 19th to July 21st. It was uh, three days in 2019, which feels yes. like a really long time ago like now. A lifetime ago. Um, yeah, so much has happened between then and now. Um, and I remember, like, we had first started talking about this particular project because you had, uh, Devin, like, you had brought right up. After I graduated, right? Like a year before that. Is it? Maybe, maybe it's... like eight months before that. Because it was like, I, what I remember at least, was um, we had like a bad movie night. Uh, we had watched like the Star Wars holiday special, I think is what it was. And <laughs> oh, afterwards so you had bad. brought up. That would have been in December because we watched it at Christmas or around Christmas time. Yeah. But you had brought up that your family had the uh, the cabin. Yeah. Um, well, they own a lake. So, so they own that well, lake. Well, yeah. And the... <laughs> cabin and little cabins around it and whatever because they're weird and, rich uh, people <laughs> it's kind of a unique situation as far as like the writing for me because i know like i haven't written to a location before normally it's just like you know you write it and then you look for a location but this was the other way around so it was definitely kind of like a a weird and unique opportunity but um yeah, I think it turned out pretty all right as far as the, um, the story, the concept. Um, went through a bunch of name changes. I know that much. Oh, yeah. No kidding. Um, I actually found an early draft that was called the Evil of Widow's Lake, like before we even went to Tomahawk Lake. Yeah. I haven't heard that one. That's because yeah. they didn't make the, the, the first script that got sent to everybody, I think. Mm-hmm. I like how the title changed, but just the name of the lake was different in every. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, because we had Tomahawk Lake, and yeah. then um, when we got to production, like the day of, um, 
it was actually the second day of filming because that's when the lake's name is brought up explicitly then we changed it to chapel lake just so we could remove any kind of like native american connotations we just wanted to make it creepy you know without being as overt as you know widow's lake yeah also there's neither a widow nor a burial ground nor a, like anything that would have related to either of those names yeah i feel yeah, like the the older God. names might have distracted from uh from the story yeah, if if you kind of make it a little more generic then you don't have to worry about people being like why did they call it that that name you know yeah well you could have tied it into like the spirit or like the evil itself is the widow's ghost that was drowned there you know if you wanted to go that route but when we were in any case it, it was like we had a, it was already a little girl, right? When we were talking about it. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's how the story pretty much always went. Um, so yeah, let's uh, hop into this. Am I screen sharing? Is that what's happening? Yes. I don't know. Do we I need am. to turn off our video or anything? I know, like that's usually what happens on Zoom: turn off video, so then the uh, the video playing runs better. But I don't know. We've all seen it already, right? I mean, we had a yes screening, so the, I figured the idea of this is that we hit, get our reactions on the side. Okay. Yeah, if and you just kind of like be on it, camera, you can turn your camera off. I'm not offended. Oh no, I ask because like typically with with Zo typically with Zoom, like videos run better if people's like cameras are off. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's the same with Discord or not, but like we could just like see. Yeah, we can try this out. If I mean, it's this a is disaster. We'll yeah, do, we'll, just, we'll, we'll find out. Cool. Okay. Watch so, stream. what what do you guys see? Just so I am. Um, I see I, a watch stream button. I see YouTube. You gotta oh. click the watch stream button. Ah. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, there's the thing. Yeah, you're on your phone, aren't you, Duncan? I am on my phone, Jason. Thank oh, you for. I'm just bringing that up because posing oh, him. You know, <laughs> all that. I'm gonna shut up. <laughs> No, as long as I'm on, um, I think one of the first things that I remember about this weekend was how humid it was. Jesus. It was oh, so God. hot. Oh. It was. <laughs> and Especially the night. first day. That first night was so yeah. rough. Well, we didn't turn and on we, the like, air conditioning. We didn't realize it that was we there. could turn on the <laughs> air conditioning until the second day of filming. Which is Wait, we could? We all dying. Yeah, because for the the next yeah. days we had it on whenever we weren't shooting we'd turn it back on because it was noisy oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah we'd, have to, we'd turn it on in between uh <laughs> scenes and then so we'd get like 15 minutes of ac <laughs> and then we'd shoot another take because i did i had to hop back over to my too. phone mm -hmm. i'd have yeah. back over to my phone to just mention that i have never known sweat at that volume oh, my god it was <laughs> <terrible>. <laughs> Literally, the floor was just wet with humidity. Ew, that's so true. I forgot about that. It was also we were tracking in dirt, spilling water on the floor. That's how we ended up dying. That like it, the water that someone spilled, and then it died. It like leaked the dye from the blanket they were on onto the floor. Oh my and god, it, like, that's left right. A stain that we had to scrub mm -hmm. off it came off thankfully but like i didn't know about that yeah we stained the floor i was really worried <laughs> that about sucks. it it was rough yeah i'm gonna hop back over to my pc i don't have a webcam and you won't be able to hear me but i'm still there okay, <laughs> okay. so let's go ahead uh we'll get this started uh let me know if there's any issues as far as playback The bracelets. All of the bracelets I was wearing. I liked the bracelets. <laughs> That's why I made you keep them. <laughs> you guys, I cannot hear it. Yeah, I can't hear, I can't it, either. hear it either. Okay. But I see the subtitles. <laughs> I don't know why, why you wouldn't be able to hear it. Uh, Devin, any uh, troubleshooting here? Are you streaming audio? Is that oh, a thing you can do? Uh, what kind of computer are you on? 
I'm on a Mac. Okay, so is that a problem? <laughs> Discord doesn't like MacBooks, and so you will have to play it through your speakers, and it'll have to pick it up through your microphone. Uh, if it's easier, you can send one of us a link. You could send me a link, and I can stream my screen. Yeah. Send him the link. I, I think that'll be better because yeah. I I don't want to play that through the speakers. That's that's bad. just bad. Yeah. I got you. Well, All right. Yeah, before we before we leave Great. this screen in particular, I just want to call out Jason's face as just brilliant. <laughs> I feel like that face. I don't know what that is. That's just kind of. <laughs> you have one of the most expressive faces. Like, okay, so all of the photos that we have from this shoot of you are super funny. <laughs> well, I think. <laughs> I only one specific picture comes to mind, and it's one that Duncan we has. We don't need to talk about that. <laughs> okay, we don't have to. <laughs> no, no, it's funny. I that was for dramatic effect, but uh, <laughs> I, that was a good one. Yeah, Devin, do you remember the picture that we're talking about? I'm not sure. I know exactly which picture you're talking about. It was with the makeup on, um, over a stool. Um. Did I don't I, know. I didn't take that one, did I? So I think you did. Didn't you have a camera? Yeah. No, I think I, I think mm -hmm. I took the picture directly off of um, uh, David's camera when we were shooting. Okay. No, because uh, like they, people were setting up shots over by the bathroom, and th this was uh, around the time when like I don't know, like some bugs were coming in, and I was freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, know, I don't even remember. It's a great picture, though. You look great. Oh, yeah. It's me just kind of going, ooh, with my butt up. <laughs> I think there was more than one photo of that. Hey. <laughs> All right, are we ready? Go for it. Yes. Yeah. Let me know if you can hear sound. Yeah, I can already hear it. Yes. Yep. It's just junk in there. The groundskeeper throws all his stuff in here. The place hasn't been rented out in here, so it's never been a problem. He doesn't even bother keeping the key. Why not? The stories about Chapel Lake are all the security he needs. What happened here? Little girl drowned at the dock. No one knows how it happened. She knew how to swim. There was no struggle. She was there one minute and gone the next. She could have fallen in and hit her head on the dock. That's not what it looked like when they fished her body out of the water. Then how did she die? That's what we're here to find out. Go ahead and get the stuff set up. I need to smoke real fast. The excuse. <laughs> How's this? He just room? never wants to be in the room. Like, mm -hmm. Bye. Never. I thought you just didn't want to work. Are you yeah. <laughs> what? You don't believe in ghosts? Do you? <laughs> Not really. The story about the little girl is an urban legend from way back, but who knows? Maybe there's some truth to it. Maybe. Susie Powell. Can you hear me? I want to talk to you. Hey, sorry, just some behind the scenes. Um, I bought that phone the day before we started in this room with us. my old phone crapped out. <laughs> How will we know if she's here? If the water or the candles are disturbed, then we'll know. Could we have just used a Ouija board to talk to Susie? Ouija boards don't work. I need you both to concentrate. This won't work either if you aren't focused. Yeah. Sorry. My really obvious heaven <laughs> scene that I did right okay, there. Okay, I'm focusing. Susie, can you hear me? Where did we get the music for this? Uh, I made it. Yeah, it's, it's really awesome. good. 
Oh yeah, oh, dude. Thank you. We want to That's know what great. happened to you at the dock. Yeah, I, I had did somebody. I had done some stuff before, like I scored the, um, the short film I did before this one. Um, I just put this together in GarageBand because. I didn't want to like try and use stock so screen thing. Like that. I wanted to have something I could fit, you know. Yeah, it's super cool. Just like the uh, ambient ambiance of it. Hmm. Yeah, I wanted something that was. Yeah. If there are <laughs> any spirits here, spooky, and then it's any at God, all, why are we, we still would here? like to communicate. With and the sweat <laughs> on us right now is completely real. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, dude. yeah. There's that no acting involved in this scene. The skin on the tile, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a Ouija board would have been better after all. I remember my butt we was wet spirit. just from how humid and yeah. wet the ground was. Yeah. Can you guys hear me, by the way? Yes, very faintly. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry, you guys. I really thought this would work. It's fine. At least you got me out of the house for once. <laughs> I had to switch around the audio, so when we're looking at Wiley, that's not the same I'll be back to help in a minute. Huh. I barely heard that. Yeah, there, there's a lot turn of... turn yourself up. Uh, I don't know how I'm on this, like, computer. I'll type it over the chat. Dude, I love this shot, though. It, this took so long. It was worth it. It did. Because I used <laughs> this in the poster, and it was, like, the easiest, like, best it looks great especially yeah right there oh yeah i knew i wanted that like cigarette like light too just because you have like the hot colors or the warm colors in contrast with all of the blue around him yeah i think like the cigarette in like dark lighting always just looks super cool in movies oh yeah Jason, how many cigarettes still... did you go through? I don't remember. I I went through a lot less than I th thought I would okay, because can we like on this fire. Oh my god, the fire! <laughs> oh, <laughs> fire! We gotta talk about the fire. <laughs> that thing. <sighs> okay. I remember us so being we... a little bit nervous about the tree above it. <laughs> yeah, because there's a tree like right outside of frame. And like I was paranoid about like you know if this if this shit catches like we are <laughs> we are in trouble. But, I mean it's a um, living tree. It's not a crusty dead tree. So it was it was probably I mean, gonna be fine. But like this fire was really big. We made I this love fire that we... so tall, and then it burned out immediately. Yeah, we were we were oh all talking God, about yeah. like oh there's so much wood. This thing is gonna burn for hours. We got no problem, lasted, and then it like, literally lasted like minutes. five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, by the time we set up the next shot, which is Duncan outside, I mean, that thing was basically embers. It was yeah. like, oh. <laughs> and that shot looked really cool, too, when it was just, like, the embers kind of... But it made no sense. Yeah, but you guys... <laughs> it was cool in its own way, but, like, you know, you went from this huge pyre to, like, yeah. embers. And it's like, oh. Like, oh, wait, no. here's what... I'm going to read what Emily put. Uh, when looking okay. at Miley and Jason... Says at least we could have pretended we were talking to spirits. That's not the same take of Jason talking that Miley is talking. I had to use a different take of Jason, but the audio matches up well enough to not be noticed. Oh, so you're saying oh. you took uh, the audio like that line from a different take, but put it on a different like visual take? Oh my nice. god, that's awesome! Yeah, well done. Yeah, I, I didn't even notice at all. Next time I'm gonna look for it and see if I can tell. I doubt I will. You guys remember the um, the lighter fluid thing we tried to do? Yes. I also remember everybody brought up buckets of lake water. <laughs> yeah, we had just like in two case big it went wild. Those orange jugs. Dumped yeah. on it or something? Is, were we putting it out? Is that you know it was it was the closest we could get to like a cautionary or like precautionary oh, sort of right. thing. Yeah, this I fire, mean... the whole ordeal with the fire made me really nervous. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, what what was the what was the thing with the lighter fluid? I can't remember. I don't remember. Um, I just remember we uh, we were trying to get it to go up all at once. Oh yeah. Um, and uh, oh god, I, um, it was me and who was behind the fire? He was like lying on the ground. Was it Jack? I think it was Jack. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh god. Oh, he, he was way too gung ho about the fire. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's yeah, why I was so looked- nervous. Yeah, but Jack <laughs> was like a killer, um, I don't know, a gaffer slash PA. Like, he was so helpful He's as a crew great. member. He killed oh, it. Yeah. He was loved was working with that guy. Fire, it's too. It's just that he was too enthusiastic, and I was like, "You're a little too eager to set things on fire." I'm nervous. <laughs> he oh, knew dude, what he Jack was doing. Went, yeah, Jack went all out this whole production. He he drove there with the uh, the impact mat on top of his car, oh, yeah. like strapped with like God. a tiny rope. <laughs> Yeah, and I was on. I was. <laughs> I had to hold it down because we were on the highway, and the mat, like, because it was tied down in the middle. The mat was just going <laughs> in the wind, <laughs> so uh, we we're just holding it. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll we'll get to the mat. We'll we'll talk about the mat. When we oh get yeah. <laughs> Can we keep going then? Yeah, we should. Yeah, yeah. yeah oh, yeah. I also want to say real quick. I am still a little bit sad we didn't use the shot of me standing in front of the fire. But oh that, yeah. Oh. It looked so oh, good. Yeah. I think I have some cool photos of like me from this time that I got Audrey to take. Oh yeah. While we were doing stuff. This was night two, yeah, right? Wanted... Where we shot this. That yeah. sounds right. Yeah. It was night two because this was after um, after we had like dinner, I think. Night three, okay. I think it um, rained on us. Because it was the shortest night, but maybe? it was, it started raining on us. Night I wasn't there that night, yeah, I think. We were all oh, that also, for the record, this weekend was, um, we were in the middle, not only did we forget to use the air conditioning, but um, this was a record heat wave. Like, we were <laughs> we were in the middle of, like, a heat wave where they, they were advising people not to be outside. And we spent that the first That explains day a lot. <laughs> dying <laughs> collectively. Good thing we were inside. <laughs> We were technically inside. Yeah, technically inside. <laughs> you know what? Nobody died or had like dehydration, we, so we I consider so that a win. I think we did a good job. Gatorade. I mean, my mom bought us like big things of Gatorade, and so because yeah, she knew she was like, stay hydrated. She bought a ton of Gatorade. Yeah, yeah you, you, you guys were all on it from a from a craft services, just like snacks and water perspective. Like you, you guys were were great on, in that regard. It was such a pain. It was a pain in the ass location for everybody else, right? Like I lived on the street from this, but at like uh, for everyone else, it was like way out of the way. In the I drove the almost an hour to this set. Yeah. So like. Oh yeah, this was, this was way for me. The least we could do was be real diligent about food and hydration, making everybody making sure everybody was safe and everyone was Devin. comfortable because. Devin. <laughs> Thank you so much for waiting with me for my Uber oh my God, at three is, in the morning. Uh, that was so frustrating because oh then they cancel on you and we were like. Yeah, literally the car, because like this is like probably a 40 minute drive, an hour minute, like an hour minute, an hour drive away from my apartment. And we like we were just like waiting there. A car drove past because like there's not a lot of cars that drive past this area. And I was like, oh, yeah, that's the Uber. And it just canceled. And the only other Uber, uh, like, then I didn't know if I got like a bad review or something, because the I could only get an Uber ride back, back home for like sixty bucks or something. <sighs> and I was like, why? What is what just went wrong? And like, I got maybe a lift or something, and like, I was fine, but it was ridiculous. That's crazy. Was that after the first night? Yeah, the that Uber was... driver thought you were trying to kill him. <laughs> yeah, probably. We had to walk from the cabin up to the where the road was, and there's like that. Um, yeah. I don't even know what the the building is. It's like I don't know an industrial thing. I don't know. It freaked me out. <laughs> and it like it looks a little sketch. Like it looks like a weird industrial park from the road, and we're walking, and the Uber driver calls him. And is like, where are you? And we're like, we're trying to walk there. Like, we're trying to get there. And by the time we got up to the corner, uh, the car was gone and, and he'd canceled. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, he definitely thought he was going to die. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, I found out from talking to my Lyft driver on the way home. It was cool. We were talking about Nintendo Switch and stuff. But uh, he was explaining what probably happened was, like, the Uber driver, that was the only one in the area. So, since they canceled on me, there were none close by so it would take 60 bucks to get someone over to, to then bring me from like mesa 
Sen to come over and pick Probably, you up. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. Oh, that's awful. Um, should I hit play then? Go for it. Cool. I love the cicada okay. noises. Mm -hmm. Go easy on I love her pissy expressions in this whole movie. She's a it was her last character. one, too. <laughs> like if I was, I was so terrified. Like... I was so terrified of breaking those glasses just in a loose backpack. Didn't we actually break one? I think one broke. Oh, God, I hope not. <laughs> I think we broke one. I think it was a kind of a beer glass. David, are you thinking what I'm thinking right now? Yes. <laughs> the, 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 the fucking meme. Nani edit. <laughs> Emily? Oh, like the best. Oh my god. I faintly oh. remember this. It was, a, it was a still shot right there instead of a yeah. moving shot. It looks so out of Oh god. It was so that loud. Was so good. I think it looks great. You guys did a great job. Yeah, that was something we got on the uh, reshoot. That was a reshoot, yep. Yeah, because when we shot it, you, you could barely see any of that. Yeah. Okay, so that shot right there. You can also go back. <laughs> yep. Um, so my intention was the fire would be in that full blaze still. You know, mm -hmm. you, you could see Jason run past. <laughs> but because the fire was dead at that point, you can't see him worse shit. I tried to brighten that up as much as humanly wonder, possible, and you still could not see him. Like, edited in the previous shot of the fire, because the window's just black, right? So I wonder if we could have edited hmm. that shot into the window, just so it looked like it was blazing behind the window still. Maybe, just, but maybe. we still would have had to put Jason there. Yeah. Yeah. Just find some, right. like, profile shot of me and just animate it going, <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Like a bad puppet animation. <laughs> the bracelets. Guys, come on, this isn't funny anymore. <sighs> oh, dude, oh, this shot's coming up. This tracking shot with the door. God. <laughs> 13 takes. Oh, Oh yeah. Takes. <laughs> it was so much fun though. That was my favorite shot. Yeah. Wait, come here. What's wrong? Please. I love the color editing. Oh my goodness. Emily? Yeah. Don't be afraid. It's so good. It's so good. It's so much better I when it's I can't. <laughs> the voice is modified. So we didn't mean to scare you that badly. Yeah, I think before my voice was modified, no. it was just like a very strange, like, don't be afraid. <laughs> don't be afraid. I'm not. Was that a specific, like, light on the face there? So that was some, that was a uh, post effect Wait. right now, uh, spot on your face. Heard, yeah. No. Yeah, there was a, there was a lot of little things where I was just trying to kind of brighten those up and bring people's uh, attention to to the face because all the all the actions in the eyes, you know. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah, that was the contrast on his face. Just, uh, that was. I think I fell out of the yeah. window four times. Oh yeah, can we can we talk about that? <laughs> yeah, can we talk about that. That's a talking point. <laughs> yeah, um, that looks so cool. Oh, I'm sorry. It's because that there was a very precise way that you like fell out of there, and you yeah, fell because I... we had like a table set up with the uh, mat on it. Um, I love this freeze frame that's right here. Freeze <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yeah, that uh, was so fun, though. Yeah. Yeah, didn't we? Yes, I feel summer. like we did a bunch of takes of you falling, and eventually we just stopped because you were starting to get hurt, and we're like, we, we probably <laughs> got it. Yeah, yeah I was like, uh, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then all the uh, sound for 
this uh, last moment as he's like crawling backwards and then leaving was sound that we did or that I uh, did in post. Um, oh, wow. I had Duncan. Um, you recorded some extra um, like oh, grunts and yeah. stuff for this. I remember that. Um, um, yeah. That was, I, I went and found a bathroom and I... <laughs> <laughs> And when I did it in a bathroom, that's funny. Nice. Can can we hear it again? Yeah. You get here. Sure. Go for it. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, that sounds yeah. great. Point it out. You, you can tell, but like, yeah, I didn't know that that's. Yeah. And then I just take off. <laughs> See ya. Me? To the unknown. Towards the parking lot over there in the grass. <laughs> And yeah, I love and your this font. Was the shot we got. Thank you. I was trying to go for like a, oh, I don't know, kind of like the Conjuring in terms of like the simple, you know, title. Mm-hmm. Um, it feels yeah, it feels old school. It I feels mean, right. with the synth too, like. Mm-hmm. It has an old school feel too. Oh, uh, dude, I forgot Jack Bolander was on this. Uh, show. Yeah, 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 the two Jacks. Yeah. What did Jack Bolander do again? I forget. I he was great thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Odd jobs. Bolander's great. Like mm-hmm. most of us. If we were around, <laughs> we were just like doing whatever. Yeah. Flagmeister. Yeah, so that was uh, Chapel Lake. Woohoo! It was a pretty fun shoot, honestly. I mean, as far as like shoots that I've directed... Um, I would say this is probably the most fun I've had making um, mm. a movie because um, it really didn't run into that series of issues. I mean, we're talking about like the fire and stuff, and like yeah, that was that was annoying. But you know, but we didn't fun. run into stuff that was like this is going to ruin the shoot. You know? Um, yeah, we we certainly had a couple challenges, but for the most part, like uh, most of it was just. Most of it we kind of worked through, and then other than that, we were all kind of hand in hand working together and collaborating. Someone would offer solutions, and we would just kind of roll with it. And I, I also had a lot of fun, uh, particularly after the first night when we got AC working. <laughs> yes. Oh. Yeah. That yeah, that was cool. It was fun as an actor. Um, I remember uh, that that fall out of the window was great. Um, and uh you know jason and milo were super fun to play with so yeah it was okay <laughs> <laughs> no yeah it, it was really fun because i'm trying to think if i don't know i think like up until that point like i i had been on like some like fun like film shoots and everything but like i remember like working on like uh this short film like it just felt really like well like just put together like all aspects of it like in terms of like the script and like the pre-production and like also like i I forget did did we like rehearse i don't remember we did a uh table read so you guys all came out uh yeah that was the same day we kind of figured out the um yeah stuff that's right yes Uh, oh my god i do remember yeah um We, so like yeah we had like that rehearsal and also like our rehearsal was at the location itself so like we mm-hmm. kind of like knew what we were getting into i guess in terms of like location like what we can like mess around with and stuff and right. then like when we got on shoot like i don't know like it, it was like one of the like first really just like well like orchestrated shoots that i've been a part of so like that was like really nice yeah a lot of student films kind of um you know, they, they don't really have their shit together and everything's kind of on the fly. Um, and then you wind up with that, like, nightmare of actors sitting there for two hours while the crew is trying to figure out how to light something for the first time because they didn't think about how they wanted to shoot it or whatever mm-hmm. until the day of. And I, I remember that's one of the reasons I signed on for the project was because, uh, you know, I talked about it with you, um, David, and... Um, it really felt like you had your shit together and you were like building a crew and everyone kind of knew their job and what they were supposed to do. And so I was like, okay, this sounds um, like like as close to a well-oiled machine as you can get when everyone's doing it for free, you know? 
Um, mm. And so it's uh, yeah, no, I, it, it, it was true. Right. Like I, I felt like we had, we had a good time and we were for the most part, we were pretty on schedule and moving forward as needed and everything was kind of thought up ahead of time. And so we were only, what what was set us behind was just like occasional challenges that that we faced, um, but that's part of any production. And so yeah, yeah it was it was really cool. I think you know, I'm, I'm I really cool. appreciate that from. No, go but... go for it. I'm sorry. Oh no, I was just gonna say I really appreciate the uh, kind words on that because yeah, it, it was sort of a um, a challenge for me because like I had not this was my first time doing like a movie as far as like doing a lot of the producing and like getting all the scheduling and mm. just handling in terms of all of like getting people together and stuff. I mean, obviously Devin, you helped out a, a ton with that as well. I had um, the luxury of and then, living right next to the location. And also it was, <laughs> well, we did it in the summer and I had literally nothing else going on because I had already graduated. So I was like, well, just take the weekend off. <laughs> <laughs> it helps to have that time. Because I think if it had actually been a properly student film, like if we had still been students while filming and whatever, it, it would not have been as clean to do anything. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. actually had a um, uh, fun experience last weekend. Um, we, CCM Acting, did a film production project with Emedia um, and DMC, and I ended up uh, co-directing a film with another acting major, uh, Olivia Buss, it's great. Um, but we ended up spending 26 hours on set, uh, Saturday, Sunday, from Damn. 9 a.m. Saturday to 10 a.m. Uh, to 10 p.m. Sunday. Oh um, my God! It was it was a, it was a long haul, and um, you know it's just that that side of things always gives you a, a nice perspective on. Um, uh, the the production side of things and looking back at this you know it was you, you i think you guys did it did a great job on really just planning out everything that we had to do and um making it really easy for us at least to uh to to get to the places that we needed to get to and and tell the story and it was i, I had a great time and, um looking back on it now it's you know it, good good memories for sure mm -hmm. i agree coming from um doing a lot of student films back in high school especially and even some of the ones I've done in college, uh, I'm not going to count the 72 hour ones because you are on a strict schedule there. But the student film, you do tend to kind of write the script and then say, okay, let's go film it. And then you kind of figure things out as you go. And being on the post end of stuff a lot, that always tends to um, create a lot of issues when you're editing and you realize things that had you thought it through beforehand, like we did on this one things would have gotten solved before then. So it's always this cycle of you shoot really fast, you know, pre-production isn't that long. And then there's so much uh, reshooting that you need to do. And that usually takes the most time, if you even have that time. Like, well, if, if you're on the Yeah, oh my gosh. <laughs> That's the worst. <laughs> this is definitely the best uh, set I've been on, though. I think I probably was more helpful on this one than I had been on previous ones because I did this one after I had directed my own short, which was a hell of an experience. <laughs> so I think had I not done that, I don't don't think I would have been nearly as helpful. I was mostly running sound on set. Um, my my bigger role was doing uh, the first part of the editing. But while I, while we were on set, I was doing what I could to help with like figuring things out. I definitely did feel like I was the one with maybe the least experience because that was my my first big set experience that I can remember, other than something I did with Caleb um, the year before. But Looking back on it, I think I, I did I did a good job. I did what I could, and then I I did what was my forte afterwards is post production. But it was definitely a really good learning experience being on that set and working with all of you guys. I think you did a great job. Yeah, yeah sounds okay. sounds definitely one of those things where people just like get like you can hold a pole, go for it, have fun. 
That's because no no one wants to do sound except for people that like really want to do sound, you know? And it's so hard. Like everyone fucks up sound. It's so hard to get really good audio. I, mean, I, I thought we did a great job with it. Yes. You gotta hold the pole and not move even your fingers on the pole because then you'll hear that in the mic. And also don't get in the shot. <laughs> oh man. Hundred percent. My upper body strength, it's failing me. <laughs> you learn the cheat ways to uh, hold the pole <laughs> over your shoulder really fast. <laughs> right. Trying to remember any oh, funny oh. stories. Um, there was some song that everybody was singing in the in between takes for like the second day, and I'm trying to remember. I've been trying to remember for like 10 minutes now and i don't remember what it was well, duncan was really on board with the django soundtrack for some reason <laughs> oh yeah yeah i think i i, I might have brought that in <laughs> <laughs> trying to figure out what it was, it was I, uh, I remember um another fun thing like the still image uh, that I memed the heck out of um, a little bit after that where Duncan's running through the house and it transitions from one shot where it's looking at the window to when it's looking and he hits he goes to the door where he kind of jumps and his hands go back behind his back a little bit I, I definitely cut down on on this but on the original putting the two shots together there was like a whole second of air time <laughs> from when he takes <laughs> Off to when he lands that's why i was laughing when we were watching it i couldn't it was so funny i cut it down but i still made it noticeable that he does take a bit of a leap oh that's hilarious oh david and i laughed so hard for like we were in like 30 minutes singing the nutcracker <laughs> there's a video of us singing the nutcracker suite Oh, we were probably very loopy at this point. We were probably <laughs> so sweaty. Did we, did we have the AC at that point? Because like, that was the second day. <laughs> we were recovering from not having the AC the day before. <laughs> my one, my one sad thing about this is you can't see the makeup very well in the shots. Because I do, I was like pretty proud. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, your makeup looks great. looks great. Yeah, how that bloody. <laughs> yeah, our, unfortunately, our, our lighting did not bring those out as much as as I wish they had. Because your your makeup did look fantastic, even though the the color for the lighting I thought was especially in that one shot, like that with uh like the the one long camera shot, the the orange in the light just like br comes to life. I, I I really liked how that looked. That shot mm -hmm. is so good. Just the whole. That it was worth all the takes, I think, even though you guys were getting so mad about it at the time. I was having fun the entire time. <laughs> oh, definitely, okay, David yeah. was getting mad about it. Also, I was taking pictures of everybody at the time, and I think David did not want his picture taken. He was like, Don't fucking check Who was our no, who was our uh, producer? Was it um Aubrey? Audrey. Audrey? Oh my god, she god love her. I this would not have been finished without her oh, making sure excellent. we were on time. She's she was so good. Yeah. I miss her. Where is she? <laughs> she came back. Yeah, I haven't she's, talked to her. She's back in Ohio, time. but I haven't talked to her otherwise. Mm. But yeah. I do remember that there was a funny we I, we took a take I think that didn't end up in the final cut of the door side of the house. Um, of me just sprinting into the woods. It was like directly <laughs> of my back. Um, and it, it might have not existed. I might have made it up. But I remember we did it like three different ways. And I was like, all right, you want to limp? Like you want to <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I remember um, that, yeah. I, think that was I do remember we had different like ways of you running. I do remember that. Can clearly oh, see that's a funny this picture. One. Oh, yeah. <laughs> No is that does. before or after yeah. I was falling out of a window? Dude, every time you fell, it sounded like it hurt yeah. so bad. And you <laughs> did it like five times. I felt so horrible. No, man. Honestly, the, the mat the mat saved me for sure. Um, we, we wouldn't have been able to do that without it. Um, 
uh, and that was super nice. It, it was also helpful. We were coming out of uh, hand-to-hand combat yeah. uh, that year, the year before. So, uh, m- you know, half of that class is falling on your ass and making it look like it hurts when it doesn't. Not, <laughs> but... not getting a bunch of bruises. Yes. I imagine, though, it's very different on concrete because we were learning <laughs> that class on mats or on, like, hardwood. The concrete thing was fun because I did, I, I basically did a push-up fall because um, we cut hmm. the one together where I, they took it from inside the window where I, I fell out of the window and I hit the mat and I rolled down mm-hmm. and then they uh, we shot it from outside and I started on the ground. I pushed myself up and I fell on the concrete. That one was pretty yeah. controlled. Mm. Um, the I, one, remember, the one, I remember uh, editing that. Yeah, the one out of the window was, was harder. <laughs> that must have been scary, because you're just, like, going ass out first, like, out of the window. Yeah, I was trying to find a good way to do it. I really never did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, eventually we were probably just like, and it's time, let's let's move on. Good enough. <laughs> oh, oh man, that? that's me. Menacing. <laughs> Menacingly standing. Ass is glowing. That's what I know, right? (laughs) The first thing that stuck out to me was just (laughs) my badunk dunk. (laughs) Just constantly sticking out his butt the whole shoot. Jason, do you remember? Like, I I don't remember the context at all. They're probably on my Snapchat memory somewhere. But I was like taking pictures of you at some point, like during the beginning of the shoot. And you like would like make a dumb face at me, and I'd take a picture of it. I don't remember any. Oh content. my god, I don't. No, I don't remember at all. But I'm <laughs> sure there's just like a bunch of pictures of me just kind of going. <laughs> yeah, Jason makes dumb faces with no prompting. No prompting at all whatsoever. I just kind of <laughs> just like it's during right. our Zoom classes, I just kind of go. <laughs> I'm not at all surprised. I feel like every time you noticed a, ca- a different camera was on you, you were just like. <laughs> Pretty much, like if there's a camera pointed at me, like I guess my my instinctual reaction is just do something. 